Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm an artist and gallery owner. Did you know that boxes sometimes get pierced right through during shipping? That's a scary thought. So I developed my own method for protecting art. It's easy and secure, and it's going to save you a ton of money. Let's look at what supplies you're going to need. A good sharp utility knife. Packing tape. Please don't go to the dollar store for tape. It will break or shred and drive you crazy. You can get good prices by purchasing packs that contain four or more rolls. Masking tape or transparent gift tape. Pencils and permanent markers or felt pens. A good metal ruler, the longer the better. Plastic bags large enough to hold your canvas. And foam insulation boards. These boards are used to insulate walls and come in various thicknesses. You'll need the one inch thick version. The boards are two by eight foot rigid foam. They are available at any home renovation store. And if the eight foot length is too long for your vehicle, just bring along a utility knife to cut it down to a more manageable size. Some stores carry a thrifty version of this board that is made of styrofoam. You can use this stuff, but it's not as strong and crumbles a bit when you cut it. Can you say messy? I always opt for the firm version. Cardboard. You're going to need large pieces of cardboard, and although you can purchase it, there is a constant supply of free cardboard right under your nose. Almost every retail store has a recycling bin behind it that is full of shipping boxes that have been folded down to be recycled. I have a few favorite spots for finding boxes, but I often go to the bin behind a Pier 1 store. Because they sell everything from giftware to furniture, they have a lot of good quality big boxes. Never ever get your boxes from a grocery store, or you may just bring home more than you bargained for. You know, in the form of creepy crawlies. In the next video, I'll show you how to make a painting sandwich. This will be the first layer of protection for your canvas.